Good morning. Uh, so my tusks need a little bit of uh, tending. Anyway, I'm here at my little home faux garden spot. And <clears throat> I say faux because, uh, as you can see down in here, there's a lot of things that I don't really want to do anything with. Now they're growing already. So we might call them weeds, I call them chicken feed. Let's see, you can see the birds back there. Anyway, <clears throat> there's a bunch of different projects that I've never gotten around to doing because there's only so much time in life. One of them is uh, plant collecting. So here you can see a gumi plant, which makes evidently a nice berry. It's a nitrogen fixing plant. Pretty excited about that. There's a little sorrel patch, <clears throat> which offers a nice uh, tangy sour flavor. And this is a wisteria, which I'm super now, <clears throat> another thing I'm looking forward to getting up and running is this metal frame here, which I'm going to take a bunch of um, hardware cloth, closing the bottom and the sides of it, and turn it into a little rooting nursery spot. And get some, I don't even remember right now what I'm going to put in there, but I got a bunch of different things I'm excited about propagating to get in there. And now, this is another project that looked at for a long time and it is about to be a potato tower so my potatoes have come up from this little uh pile here i'm gonna form the cylinder of this wire a bit better and then just keep piling on some manures and uh, grass clippings and well so i have some leaf material a different mulch with a bunch of other uh, manure and things onto it and ideally you want to have a nice full thing of potatoes and then you open up your wire and you dump it out so it's going to get dumped out going down the landscape here and helping to fill in a bunch of this lower area now <clears throat> that's some of my exciting plans, and you might say, Reed, you talked about having your farm go foul, and now you're showing us that you're definitely still doing some gardening things, and that's true. I am. It's a vastly smaller scale. This is like a, maybe a 30 by 30 foot space, <clears throat> and then I have some, you know, chaos plantings mostly within that. And then a couple little patches, like a little patch here, another potato that's there, some geranium, another geranium, and an ultra-tiny mint that's there. Probably some calendulas are popping up here. I spread a lot of different seeds, so we'll see. Um, <clears throat> but I find that, you know, attending this space, I put in maybe like 10 to 20 minutes, roughly a day, not every day even. And I'm not overly attached to a bunch of it, but it's really connective for myself and the earth. And to me, um, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I'm a bit of an animist. And this notion that earth care is actually self care. And so, in having these different places where I have a tending relationship, I know it actually tends myself a good bit. Now, <clears throat> over the weekend, I cleaned up this table in my workshop space. You can see lots of the workshop still needs a fair amount of organizing, you know, one surface at a time. I did my desk inside my house as well, which is really great. And I'm troubleshooting some going live aspects i know that my music related videos get a lot less views but it's really a passion of mine and so i'm looking forward to uh bringing more of that to life i've got a few more things to dial in before that takes shape but i figured i would uh give you a little extra walk around today here before i hit it off to work for the day Thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. 
thanks for pressing that like button. It really helps for the algorithms and such. And I'd love to know if what you're gardening this year, how those projects are coming along, if you have any new variations of it that are going, whether you've got some animals uh, that you're tending to, whether they be pets or, you know, for food purposes. Oh, wait, let me just see if I can go. You see that wheelbarrow that's there? And it's got a huge fatty geranium coming out of it. Mine's like really good when I put it in there with a bunch of nasturtiums last year and it was tiny. Now it's just exploded. Uh, the nasturtiums did not make it through the winter, so I got to replant them. Anyway, that's some of the fun with my uh, earth-related scenarios here where I'm living. Have too much fun.